Well, hello, everybody. Lovely to see you. So we've got another look at our fantastic one day special. Speaking of fantastic, can I introduce you to the lovely Kleiner? Hello. Hi. It's, it's been a little while since we got to hang out. Yeah. 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 This is your second official release. Yes, launching today. How does that feel? Oh, scary and exciting, all yeah. rolled into one. Okay, we well, like that. <laughs> uh, I tell you, you've done a very good job though. And whenever you come in, you bring us, uh, I think, dyes that we're going to use coming through yeah i the main things i try and do is things that are practical yeah got loads of uses so yeah. it's like good value for money uh -huh. and sometimes it solves the problem yeah as well uh -huh. just having a look so we're getting here tell us what what are we getting so you've got three packs of flowers and foliage so in each pack you've got one flower and one um like on that one you've got um a fern uh, or you've got um eucalyptus or yeah. um they're lovely honeysuckle in there as well. Yes, yeah, so your flowers. You've got wild roses, honeysuckle, and gladioli. Oh, nice. And you've got. Um, yeah. Can I just ask, what are, what? How are we using these elements here? Right. Okay. So those are, uh, I'm calling them connectors. Right. Um, but they can be extenders as well. So, the idea is, if you'll notice that everything's kind of got a loop on the end. Mm. So my idea was you could put a brad through. If you have, I used to have difficulty making kind of flower arrangements for my cards. Mm. But if you put a brad through, you can kind of spin them around and then just tighten up your brad and you've kind of got that arrangement. Clint, do you know what I love about you is you, as a crafter, you, you've got such a creative mind and you kind of invent solutions to problems we've all experienced. That's a really clever use to building up your flowers. Do you mind if I show some inspirations? Sure. Because this, come on, look at that. The most beautiful flowers. So all that is, that's two brads holding that together, but yeah. one connector. And then you've kind of got a corner or, or spray to put on wow. your card. I used to look at uh, flower arrangements that other people used to make, and I used to find them a bit daunting, yeah. like where to start. So I thought that this makes stunning. it really simple and do easy. Do you know what I like? The attention to detail. So the leaves are in the set. Yeah. yeah, and you've got the uh, detail within the leaves. It's kind of like a perforated detail. You've got your closed blooms there and then the most beautiful flowers coming through. Or how about something like that? Now that's quite glitzy. It's very glamorous. Or maybe you want to create some. This is cute. Now, what flower is this? Uh, that's the honeysuckle. That's lovely. And then the gladioli has been put in there as well. Or how about that? So what you'll see at the bottom there, yeah. um, I may not have had a coloured brad that I liked, or yeah. I may have just wanted to color, cover that brad up. In every set, there's either a disc that will cover your brad up if you've yeah. got the wrong colour of brad. Because you've all got Cause. brads in your stash, yeah. but they might not be the right colours for what you want to use them for. So, so you, you really have thought this There's through. flowers or little leaves that you can cover them over. Yeah. yeah. Can I just is this using the one day special? Yeah, that's Claire on my design How team. How Claire fantastic that? is that? That is, that is leaves. incredible. Yeah. Just using the leaves. Yeah. So I'm just going to put my hand into shot just to give you. An, that is not a small flower. That is absolutely it's incredible. Great, isn't it? Love that memories indeed. She's great. Instant artwork. Thirty nine ninety seven. Now, come on, you're saving twelve pounds. You've got two flexi payments. So for nineteen ninety nine right now. You get all three sets, but the real beauty is when you start creating those flowers. So, Klein has taken a problem that a lot of lot of us have, have had. Just have a look at this wreath. Now, we actually did so, this in the launch uh, show, right? Yeah, I made that in the last hour. That is all held together with um, seven brads, and that's wow. all that's holding it together. And then no. it's popped on with seven glue dots, and that's it. Just seven glue dots and the brads? Yeah, for wow. all of those elements. Wow. Okay, we need to see it in action. We will be seeing it in action this hour. 782-344, your item number. We're going to carry on going down because we have got a few other things to show you. We've got some paper stands. So here's the thing. With the stands, uh, the, sorry, take a stand, I should say. I said paper stands. Um, with, with take a stand, because we make beautiful artwork, but this suddenly allows us to display it in a whole different way. Yeah, so if you want to make home decor pieces with mm. your flowers, then why not display them? So you've got two different designs of stand in this set. So you've got the, the type that swings out. Okay, if I just show you to that To the side. Here. Ba -bum. There you go. Lovely. And then you've got the one that swings up. There. 
there you go. So if I tell you, if I just pop those two together, you get to see the two different stands. So swinging up or swinging to the side. And Very then I put some decoration on them as yeah. well, because why not? You don't have to be plain and boring. Well, so. I totally agree. Um, and then in there, you've got a wall hanging. So that goes, one of these um, goes over a, Showing you that there. a so screw head. Now, wait a second. So then we can create our own wall hangings too. Yeah, because the thing is, when we make um, yeah. home decor pieces, they're normally pretty lightweight. So you mm. can hang them up, no problem. That's perfect. That is a great way. When you think about it, and not only that, we haven't stopped there because you've also got in the mix hat. This is genius, by the way. Um, can I just draw your attention to this handmade label? Just show you that there. So you've got homemade, sorry, homemade label. So let's just say you've made something. It could be some, uh, maybe some of Tracy's homemade tablet. Tracy, have you seen, look, homemade, little homemade dye there, just saying, when you send us a tablet. Or it could be uh, maybe some homemade wine. Yep, or jam chutney. Or jam chutney, thank yep. you. Love that. I, that is a very useful one. And we've also got another one in the mix. What does this one say down there? That says... Handmade with love. Handmade with love. So I thought that would be good for the back of your projects. Perfect. For, for 19 99 every element there I would 100% use. Well, they're going to make all of your projects that you mm -hmm. make. Yeah. Um, you can display them, you can, you know, add yeah. to them. Ah, I like that. Okay, we're going to move on down. We've got now the double stitched nested dies, which are fantastic for, well, these are kind of a, a staple and essential, really. Yeah, but what I've done that's a little bit different uh -huh. is normally when you get nested dies, you get an option of squares, rectangles, circles. I've actually given you four different rectangle sets here. Now you just pick the one mm -hmm. that matches the size of card that you like to make. Okay. Because rectangle cards, there's a huge difference, everyone will know, between say your A6 card and your DL. Now you need different die sets to go with those yeah. because they just don't fit otherwise. Yeah. So you can pick the set that matches the style of card you like to make. You, you're a crafter through and through and everything you bring has been born from uh, a craft, something a crafter would need. Like you, you speaking like that, I think so many crafters at home can relate to what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, I, I remember when I had my first set of nested rectangles, and I remember putting them on DL cards and having to chop the top off of the yeah. card. It's so too long. none of that here. <laughs> yeah. Just pick your favourite. So uh, A5, just showing you that there, twenty nine ninety nine. Your price, you're getting twelve dies in total. Look, twenty nine ninety nine. You're getting an awful lot of dies for your money. Uh, and then over here, we've got our DL, which is a very popular yeah. uh, size. So get the right set for the right job. Just going to give the details of twenty two ninety nine for your DL seven four zero double zero eight. Now we've got our A6. So yeah, you've that was a little bit different, sizes. the okay. A6, because... So talk to me about the A6. I had some room there, so I popped in some extra dies. Um, they're tack creators, so you've got some lozenge shapes and a couple of circles. Yeah. So depending on whether you're using twine or ribbon. Oh. Um, now all of your nested dies now have become tags. Perfect. I love that. So you're just able to create that hole and then we can throw yeah, through. Yeah, like on the top of this one, for yeah. instance, I used the lozenge shape because I was using thick grey grain ribbon. And I love the fact that you have, rather than just giving us the circle, you have given the slightly longer elongated uh, lozenge shape as yeah, well. Yeah, because I've got lots of different types of ribbon and sometimes it's difficult to try and force it through a small yeah, circle, yeah. you know. We've all been there. I've uh, got the final one to show you, taking a look here. This is nice. So this is your 5 by 7 which is again another very popular size. Yeah, I, it's actually growing in popularity. Ah. That's my favourite size yeah. myself. So. 23.99 your price there, 247.895 your item number. I really, I genuinely like everything that you've brought, Kleiner, because you can see, as a crafter, you really thought, what would I be wanting, and then found the solution to it. Yeah, they're not always the most glamorous of things, mm -hmm. like when you think four packs of rectangles, but yeah. you need them. You do need them. Yeah. I tell you, something else you're going to like and need. Take a look at this. We have got something very special. This was your first release. Uh, this is from Kleiner. Uh, we have got the Lincolns. So this is your bold uppercase Lincolns. 14 14 99 yeah, now special. that is a great price but it gets even better i didn't say it in front of you 13 49 cleaner wow i know
uh, 608 407, your item number. Uh, we will talk about the Lincolns in just a moment. We've also got the lowercase as well for you. So you've got uppercase and lowercase. I would definitely be getting both, especially at that price. $13.99 your price, but there is a Freedom discount on there for Freedom members as well, taking it down to $12.59, uh, $12 incredible value. Uh, 292 219, your item number. We do have more on our website as well. Kalina, very quickly, I know it's not our focus this hour, but with the Lincolns, because it's such a great idea, can you just explain the ethos behind the Lincolns, how it works? No, don't have to show us, just, just explain it. Yeah, sure. I mean, basically, I've, I've, I've actually spent oh. an agenda there for you. I mean, because that's as simple as it gets. You, um, you the last jigsaw puzzle pieces, and you pop them together, and then all of your letters are equally um, spaced. spaced. And they're aligned and they're not rotated. So it's an alphabet, but it is so much more because you are able to then link your own sentiments, your own words together and create uh, it's that uniformity yeah. to it as well. I think and then the great. extra thing is yep. if you use the shapers, you can actually go around curves. Love that. So uh, we're just going to show you details of the shapers as well. I'm going to lift this up because here we have got uh, the shapers. That is the shapers at $11.99. But with the Lincolns, and there is a freedom price, I have to say, the prices that we're bringing this to you with the Lincolns, fantastic. What I would personally be doing, I'd get this set, and I would get the uppercase and lowercase there as well. So there we go. Oh, and this is numbers too. I'd get the whole set, because it's good value. <laughs> I really would. Because it is one of those things that to, once you have it, you have it. And yeah. then you use it time and time again. Yeah. OK. What would you like to show us then, Claim? Um, first of all, can I just mention, yeah. um, with the, um, yeah. the flower collections, I've actually done a little mm -hmm. PDF to help you uh -huh. or give you a few, you know, uh, starting points on how to use them. So, mm -hmm. for instance, I've shown you how you can, on a small card, make a little corner, or on a big mm -hmm. card, use, you know, several corners together, use them to embellish frames. But then I go into explaining mm -hmm. the connectors and how I've used one Mm -hmm. to, to extend there and then um, I'm showing you because they're behind and you don't see them yeah. I'm showing you how to make that little garland there or that little um, spray that yeah. it's just con two connectors and here if you join your connectors oh, together wow. that's when okay. you get reads and I'm right in saying Kleina that you you can download this from your Facebook page yeah they're on my Facebook group which is Kleina's Crafty Crew that is such a great name Klein, <laughs> uh, Kleina's Crafty Crew yeah I love that done. yeah that's a great name Okay. And then there's some ideas about um, how to colour some of them that, yeah. you know, that work well coloured and Brilliant. a few extra little tips and tricks. Okay. So, um, yeah. Brilliant. So, don't worry. I'm there with you and I've created uh, PDFs for some of my first release as well. So, you know, I try and hold your hand as much as I can. Nice. Okay, okay let's make a wreath. Yeah, let's do it. Jump in there. Oh, okay. now, see that. Because I said I was going to do one every hour. Explains so. how it works, yeah. So... Uh, what I'm going to do, because most of it is um, self-explanatory, this all I did was I popped some faux pearls mm -hmm. on. Um, so you can put your own embellishment. Because on. they're like, they're like um, berries. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I want to do my multicoloured head, because mm -hmm. the little fronds that come out are quite um, a lot lighter in colour. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I'm just trimming this down. I'll go through this quickly because I did actually okay. do it in the last hour as All well. Right, okay. So are you, a fa are you, you, see, you love your flowers. You can get you get a sense that you do like your sort of uh, adding your botanical features. Um, yeah, I'm not like a gardener or anything, no? but I think I think they're great for crafting. Yeah. They're the kind of thing that you can add to every project. Yeah. True. And uh, you've done such a good job bringing that honeysuckle to life. This is a lovely one. Yeah, well, whenever I design anything, I, I do take some time and, mm -hmm. and research them. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I like, to, I like them to be <laughs> recognisable. Yeah. Nice. Right. So it sounds like you've been busy since we last seen you, preparing for the second release. Oh, yeah, yeah, very busy. Because I'm a one-man band. Yeah. So... Um, I do everything myself. This but is, uh, but have just got a, a design team organised. So oh, incredible! That's cool. That's why a couple of the projects um, up there yeah. um, are made by Hannah and Claire. Nice. So and shout uh, out to Hannah and Claire. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's great. So I'm hoping I can get some more designing done and bringing more pro more products. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's what we like. 
Right, okay. Okay. So wonderful honeysuckle, that was quick. Yeah. The thing with honeysuckle, it's a beautiful plant. It's a beautiful plant. It actually attracts, for those of you wondering, uh, uh, um, you probably already know this, but it attracts the hummingbirds. So it's got a sweet nectar and the uh, hummingbirds come up and they suck that's And they smell great. Yeah. Do you know the hummingbird is the only bird that can fly backwards? No, I didn't know that. Okay. Little fact for you. Yeah. Okay. okay, so basically all we're doing is uh -huh. we're building from the front to the back. Oh, but look, if you want if you want to stack them up uh -huh. um, and then put them on the brad after, do that. Whatever yeah. is easiest for you. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to start on my smallest one. Mm -hmm. I know I want my um, I want my fern at the back. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Because they're wider, so I'll pop yeah. a couple of them on. So, w would you normally, I suppose it makes sense, you go from your smallest die then uh, to your biggest? Yeah, but if you layer it up and you think, oh, I can't see such and such, mm -hmm. just take them off and put them back on. Yeah. That's the cool thing about this. None of it is like Stuff permanent. On. Yeah, of course. And um, even if you finish a project and you don't like it, you can still undo it. Kind <laughs> Use the elements again. This is such a good idea. I. I Personally, I can only say from my own experience, I haven't seen anything like this before. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, brads are probably out of fashion these days, but um, so I don't know if anyone's done anything like it in the past. Well, you, you've got a real inventor's mind. I mean, just going with the Lincolns, you're very modest, Kleiner, but you really, I, you, you come up with such great ideas. Well, it, it, it does stem from wanting everything to be multi-use um, because you can you can chop them those rings off and use yeah. them as a standard a standard die you yeah. know um, so yeah it just it just stems from that okay. if, if I've experienced something in the past and I could do something about it great mm -hmm. yeah. um, but also do you know what you could do I'm just thinking working off that brad how about turning it into from just a home decor perspective into the hands on a clock not a working clock, yeah. but you know, see with that. Good idea? No? <laughs> yeah. No, it's funny you're saying that yeah. because um, uh, my dad kind of coined this phrase yeah. um, that you um, pop everything on your brad and then you dial in the design. Oh, okay. So it's funny you're saying yeah. that. Yeah, so. Well, we're seeing how that's, that's coming together. So you, effectively, you're creating your uh, octagon. Yeah. So all you need to do is just. Take a step at a time, build up your little piles, and, and just then link. link them together at the end. Yeah. Nice. Plain, I think this idea is genius. I really think it's a very, very clever idea and it deserves to be busy. I think it's quite a simple one, but, but if it helps, the, you know. The best ideas normally are. Yeah. Is yeah. A, a really, yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I used to look at um, projects that some people used to make, you know, when, the, when they're all like shabby chic and, and I used to think, oh, that's so cool, but I, I wouldn't know where to start. Yeah. But this actually enables me to, yeah. to create, I suppose, more elaborate designs that I normally wouldn't. Of course, look at this. And how simple it is. And like you say, we've all got brads in our stash, just working yeah. in a totally different way. Oh, come on. Right, so I'm just making sure that's pretty circular. Yeah. And then Locking them push down. them down to tighten them. Yeah, your dad would say you dulled them in. Yep. And there you go. There's your wreath. That is stunning. It's like a, one of those reveals on kind a... Of that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's amazing, show, though. It? And it, look, so what you're seeing here, this is so achievable, and I think that's important. I always love to stress it when I see something. Anyone can do it, because I know we've got uh, crafters of all standards who love to wash Ochanda. So whether you're an experienced crafter or you've just started your crafting journey, this is something you can achieve. It looks amazing, amazing. It's such a clever idea. So I'm just going to pop a glue okay. dot on each, mm -hmm. on each brad. Mm. Where I get sticky. Okay. 
-hmm. The thing is, I find with glue dots, um, before, when I haven't been happy with a design or I wanted to add more foliage yeah. or whatever, uh -huh. you, if you ease them up carefully, yeah. they will actually kind of pop off and off your project. So yeah. none of it is permanent. Uh, That's what I like about yeah. it. So you can then take an element, recycle an element? Yeah, if you give someone a birthday card, you can save mm -hmm. it. But yeah, it give, it, give it back. <laughs> <laughs> give it back. I'll give it to you next year. <laughs> I'll, I'll <laughs> recycle it. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will want to give, a, give it back to you. but Well, then they could then take it off the birthday card and keep it. Okay. So I think we're there. And all I've done is I've covered some... Covered a card with some kind of rustic wood effect card stock. And then so sort I'll of make a little see my brads aren't showing necessarily, but if they were, I've got some little um, leaves. You can just put in and I would pop one of each of the leaves over ah. the brads if they were visible. And um, in the one day special you're getting those leaves? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In every set, you get um, you get little circles, and you get either leaves or flowers mm -hmm. um, that coordinate to go over. There, there's your card. Perfect. I think that is absolutely stunning. Plainer, that is incredible. I really am impressed with this. Thank you. Well, it's a simple idea, so I, you know, I you know, you're you're so modest with this. It, I know you're saying it's a simple idea, but a lot of the time, we said it earlier on, the simple ideas are the best ideas. And something like this, I've, so I've presented at Hochanda for four years now, I've never seen anything like this before. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, and, and it's, it's um, fun. That, that's the thing, we craft because yeah. you want to have fun. You Doing can do that with your children. Easily. You know. Or yourself, just have some fun. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do is uh, just show you some finished examples because we've got great video showcasing where you can go with a little bit of creativity. Enjoy this. I was just saying to uh, to Kleiner, I did watch your launch hour, but I am so oh, cool. I'm so impressed with it. And you are too modest because Kleiner was like, "Well, we all have ideas." No, we don't all have ideas, and that's the thing. And I haven't thought of anything like you. Really, have taken uh, something I think we've all struggled with at times and offered a totally different way to suddenly put your flower embellishments. There we go. I didn't mean <laughs> that to be. A, didn't mean it to be a conversational killer. Uh, now, <laughs> let's have a look. What are we going to do next? Okay, so what I thought I'd do is something completely different uh -huh. and use them. Um, oh, I've lost my ball tool. Oh, there That's it is. Good. Good. So I could miss it, it's massive. Yeah. Um, and do something without brads because okay. <laughs> I've done everything yeah. near enough with brads so far. Yeah. Um, and also, I've cut. So there's still the flower range, um, but I have cut. Is that with foam? Out of foam or on? Yeah. Or foam or I don't know yeah, what foam, foam the different. So it's just, uh, yeah, foam ran, so just foam from Iran. We uh, sometimes stuck it here. <laughs> yeah. It's a joke. No, yes, it, no, it really is. That's how it, the name was that came about, wasn't oh, it? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, genuinely. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that. <laughs> That's uh, cool. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding some pastel to the centre yeah. yeah. here. Yeah. And then um, okay. nice. I'll put it together. So I'll put one flower together. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm just folding it over. And then I'm just going to roughly squidge it around a bit. OK. And it, it it's works. Really, it's you really can, technical. Yeah, you just, well, you squidge it around. <laughs> you can also, if you just apply a tiny bit of heat, kiss it against an iron very briefly, it comes to life as well. Yep. And I've also done it with a glue gun, uh, with a, a, a heat gun. Mm. Um, but earlier on, I was experimenting and without the heat gun, and mm. it, 
I got the same results. Well, there you go. So I thought, why not? That's fine. But I don't have to play with irons or heat guns, Mm. and that's that's good. But I I did seem to get the same uh, results, so that's good. Nice. Okay, so I'm just going to stretch these out a bit. Do you you like crafting your flowers? Yeah, I well, I particularly I used to buy them. Yeah. Um, and they're not cheap. You start getting a packet, no, you know, you no, only no, get no. a few in a packet. And if you get those posh ones... Oh yeah, we all know the ones. We know the ones, we're going to pay. They're lovely though. They are lovely. But you we're never want to use them yeah. because they're so nice. And, and they, so are a little bit, they are a little bit costly. Mm. And yeah, so... And these, um, if you're making your own, you just put them on everything. Yeah. And the thing is, if you're making wreaths and stuff, you'd be going through packets and packets of them, wouldn't you? Nice. Right, I'm going to take... some stamens. Yep. And get them out. Okay. I'm going to take about five, I I reckon. Okay. Okay. If you do have any questions for Cleaner, we'd love to hear from you. Studio at hochanda.com. Hoping my heat going to be Playing. heated up in a sec. Yeah. Beautiful. Just about, I think. Mm-hmm. That's lovely. Okay, so there we go. Okay. So that's our flower. So it doesn't take it doesn't take long. Not at all, I know. To make them. It's a very pretty flower. Yeah, remember. they're quite um, delicate looking, aren't they? Oh, I love that. So I've made a few of them. Uh-huh. I've got a few pieces here. Yeah. So we're not going to have any brads. We're going to try and just put a few bits together Let's and, do it. and some see fun. what we can come up with. What is it about crafting that you love so much, Claire? I don't know. It's difficult because I, I, I've tried lots of different crafts in the past because mm-hmm. my mum is, is great at like um, dressmaking and oh, okay. knitting and all that kind Keep of stuff. Crafting. It sounds like your dad's quite crafty too. Oh, yeah, he's just one cool. of them guys that can turn his hand to anything. Yeah. Nice. Now, are you family watching today? Oh, no doubt. You've got to give them a little shout out. So they'll, give, they'll give me tips later on. <laughs> you know, the kind of stuff. Well, you said I'm a lot. Oh, it's easily done. <laughs> I've been presenting for 20 years and I still say. <laughs> no, they're, they're mm. really supportive, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to get some of the... In the rose pack, you get the mm-hmm. leaves. Um, mm. But rather than use the gypsophilia, I thought I'd um, use the ferns instead. Yeah, nice. So just showing you the versatility, you don't need to use the brands? No, but I'm not going to cut the um, circles off because they're going to be hidden. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what I think? You could turn those circles into a feature, so you could actually stick them on and put a gem, create something that's quite modern, abstract. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is already looking very good. Well, it's kind of unplanned, yeah. so Ooh. I'm just going to... Some of the best inspirations are? Stick a few bits around and and hope it comes to something, mm-hmm. really. Um, I've got a general idea, so, yeah, we're going to okay. hope it kind of comes out like I have in my head. I think yeah. that's what I mean. You build up... I, I like the foliage, so you've got a lot of depth going on there. Yeah, this is actually going to be quite dimensional. Yeah. That's nice. Very pretty. But I've got some um, little, well, these kind of pom pom things. The pom poms, they could be like a, a chrysanthemum. So I'm going to use them to kind of disguise the stems. Yeah. Nice. And uh, this is, I think, one of the joys of crafting. Is but I don't think stash. they look much like roses. Yeah. Well, no, they can be whatever flower you like. Yeah. But it's nice to dip into your stash. I like things to be multifunctional, yeah, you know. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. 
quickly. At some point this hour as well, Kalena, and this is just me being very, very selfish. Maybe yeah. we could have a quick uh, sneaky look at the Lincolns too. It doesn't have to be long. But I just love seeing them in action. Maybe. We'll see how we yeah. get them. Yeah. Um, I think that would be okay. nice that's lovely and then I've used the Lincolns with yeah. one of the small nested dies to just create a little oh that's beautiful you give that to somebody my goodness that's lovely do you mind if I show everyone sure look at that now come on how beautiful is that and this is what I say? I love the Lincolns, um, how you're able to create your own words, sentiments. The flowers are stunning from the one day special. I'm showing you don't need to use brads if you don't want to, but you can do the same effect with the brads. And can I just also point out the little personal touch handmade with love? That's not in the one day special, that's the other set that we showed. So, in in a matter of minutes, I know uh, we did have some of the elements already pre made, but look at the two examples that Kleiner has shared with you. Uh, could you imagine yourself doing something like this? Because if the answer to that is yes, Kleiner has given you all the tools to do everything that I have in my hand. Uh, awesome. Kleiner, would you mind if I had a quick recap and then got back to you? Sure. Feel all free. right. We're going to do it. Let's jump onto the website and have a little look. Uh, now, you can buy individually if you want as well. So what we try and do, and we're really conscious of this at Hochanda, we try and give an option for every budget. So if you just want to go uh, for one of the sets individually, absolutely fine. Uh, just go for whatever speaks to you, whatever you want to, uh, you're excited to start um, crafting with. And you've also got the nested uh, rectangles as well. So we're going to look at the one day special. And I, genuinely, and I was saying this to uh, Klein, and I, I absolutely meant it, it was heartfelt, that with what Kleiner does, and this is her second release, so the first time I worked with Kleiner, she brought us the Lincolns, which I thought was just a genius idea, and we will uh, we'll show those to you again some, at some point this hour, but it allows you to take not only your alphabet, but you, they're linking together, so effectively, like a jigsaw puzzle, you get perfect placement, and you can bend them around as well, they, they are fantastic, but it's a clever idea. And with this one day special, Kleiner again, she's, she's found a problem uh, as a craft or something that was bugging her and then created the solution for you. So what you're getting is three different sets, but the real innovation, and it is a true innovation, because if you're like me, I've never seen anything like this before. You've got all your foliage, but do you see how the loops, they've all got loops. There. Now those loops are really important because you link them together and it allows you with your brads to link together uh, and achieve some fantastic results. So you can make a big bouquet, you can make a wreath, you can make a statement piece of artwork coming through or just the most beautiful, meaningful cards. Lots and lots. We're having a look. The amount of elements that you're getting in here, beautiful ferns, lovely flowers all coming through, but the real joy is putting them together. Uh, let me just show you here. For example, we have, I wanted to find, that's the one I want to look at. This is what I like because it is that attention to detail. You've got beautiful flowers coming through. Then you've got, now with the flowers, Kleina, I've just got to ask you, uh, is that a brad in the center? And then do we get the little stamen dies? Yes. So even the center here, so you, you don't have a loop on the flower uh, dangling down because the center, you use your brad to create the center and then you've got the stamens there. That is genius. You've got little perforated detail for the leaves. You've got your small blooms going on there, your large flowers, just clever. Kleiner really is clever. Uh, or how about this wreath? Now this was an example that Kleiner just shared with us, how we're able to build up the wreath in sections and they just all link together very, very easily to create something like this. All that's been used to create this wreath is brads and then just some uh, sticky dots, glues, gl uh, sticky glue dots. That's it. 
or if you do want to start thinking outside the box, the design team have gone to town just using the leaves. Now, come on. That is an absolute statement piece. What, what I like, and I, I hope it's coming across, and I know, I, know, I know it's shopping TV, and anyone tuning through is like, of course he's going to be enthusiastic. But um, hand on heart, as a, as a presenter at Ho Chanda, I love seeing something that is a bit different. And I've been at Ho Chanda for four years, and I'm only talking from my hum humble experience. So uh, you might have seen something like this out there, but personally, I haven't. In my four years of presenting at Ho Chanda, I've never seen a concept like this to build up flowers in this way. It is a true innovation. Anyone can do it. 12 pound saving, but 39.97, and you're getting all three sets is phenomenal. Not only that, got access to two flexi payments, 19.99. 1999 we send everything out to you and then in four weeks time 1999 782344 your item number now we also have a take us we're going to take a stand uh, i feel i need to be saying that a lot more forcefully uh, so this is our take a stand again it's just another example of cleaner giving you something that is incredibly useful so here you've got three different ways to display your work you've got two stands so that's your side swinging stand there you can see it swings from the stand so you can just stand there. And then you've got this one just swings up. So put it on the back. So taking a card and suddenly being able to display it in a totally different way. You've also got here a little wall hanging. This actually touched me. This is really nice because uh, Molly, our director, I, I gave her a while ago. Um, she asked for a signed picture. And she was saying, put that on the signed picture. And then she'd be able to hang up the signed picture as well. I mean, I'm. I'm a little bit disappointed you haven't already framed it and hung it on your wall, but hey ho. Uh, so, you'll get your mum, does your mum really want another signed picture? And your grandmother? You know I'm going to do it for you, Molly. Don't say it. They're good. I'm going to be signing them after the show. Uh, okay, so, I've got, I've got a load I need to get through. <laughs> all mine are still there. All the other presenters seem to disappear. Uh, okay, so look, you've got the uh, uh, stand. I know, it's odd. You've got all the uh, different ways to display your work. Now, down here, we've also got some sentiments in there. This, I think, is genius. Having a look, you've got your homemade. So that on homemade, it could be on homemade jam. It could be obviously on a homemade crafty project, but my mind instantly jumping to uh, something you eat. So it could be some fudge, it could be cookies, it could be wine, whatever you like. Okay, so you get that. Uh, you're also getting made with love as well. Just showing you that. This is by Claire, and she's just showing you how she's used the made with love on the back. And she's actually colored that. Beautiful. So uh, that set, 1999 your price, 168851, your item number. We're going to talk about the Lincolns because the price is fantastic. Uh, so this is your uppercase bold. 14.99 your price, saving five pounds. The concept is fantastic. It's another example of Plainer. Just, uh, just uh, she's got such a creative mind. Uh, 608 407 your item number. We've also got the lowercase for you too. Same concept, just bring it. You, you're going to want all of these, really. And there are a freedom price on there as well. So uh, freedom price giving you a further discount. 292-219, your item number. 12.59 as a freedom member. Now you've got your numbers as well. Concept's exactly the same. So just imagine a jigsaw. All the individual dies linked together and gives you that flexibility. 11.99, your price. 088-510, your item number. One more to share with you. The, uh, the shapers. Now what the shapers allow you to do is you're allowed, you can wrap, uh, undulate, create waves or wrap around uh, the different uh, numbers or uh, letters. 11.99 your price, 618, 500 your item number. Okay, how are we getting on, Kalina? Uh, you're, yeah. you're in the zone. I was just finishing this off. It fell off, uh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Nice. Right, finished. <laughs> Brilliant. Shall I show you the finished one? Just then? Sure. I know it's only. Uh, I'd start with a few gems. You're a crafter. Yeah. And I love that. Now, <laughs> that's know. a sign of a true crafter. Clayton's like, okay, if he's waffling on, I'm going to finish this properly. That's, now, that is beautiful. You give that to a friend, Clayton. That's going to have some meaning. Yeah, I'd like to think that they, yeah? they might, like, might like it. I think that's beautiful. Okay. What would you like to show us next? Shall I, shall I put I've it over here? I've got another card that isn't using brads okay. but it's using the gladiola which I haven't used yet because um, I've used the roses and mm -hmm. the honeysuckle yeah 
so I thought it'd be good to use them. So I'm going to start by on the back of my card, I'm going to put my little handmade with love sign. Okay. And because it's a craft card, I've cut that out with craft this time. Nice. Okay, and then I've cut a couple of mm -hmm. um, the nested dies, and then in I've put um, used the Lincolns, and I've put my sentiment mm -hmm. there across the top. The handmade and the handmade with love is just a really nice finishing touch. If you've taken the time to make something, whether it's a card, even if it's just a construction box, you put some chockies inside. Could be, you know, like given to a teacher for a, a gift. Yeah. But by adding that handmade with love element, it just makes it that little bit more special. Yeah, I think it's, it's mm -hmm. you know, just saying to somebody, mm -hmm. you know, I put a bit of thought yeah. and care into this yeah. while I was making it for you. Ah. Now, I've got to tell you that the Handmade with Love and the Handmade is uh, made with our stand set. So you're getting the two different uh, stands that allow you to display your work. You're also getting the hook, so the die that allows you to get hook, you know, if you want to hang it on the wall. Uh, and then you've got the two sentiment dies there as well. 19.99. Uh, I think that's a great price considering what you are getting. 168 five, uh, 851, your item number. Okay, so um, with this one, I thought what I'd do is i do them a little bit different. And I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but what I did was I, uh, if I turn it slightly, well, have maybe. a little look. What I did was I um, oh, used has. my ball tool and, and a foam sheet, yeah. and I just put a little shape into these. Yeah. Oh, that's a good picture. I know. That's great. I tell and, you, for, um, for Molly, that's a really good picture. I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And... Yeah. Um, and I put some 3D glue gel behind them, yeah. and then I shaded the edges a little bit with some darker right. red. So I, I yeah. wanted to try and give them some dimension, because even though they're quite yeah. um, tall, I thought yeah. that would be really cool. Uh -huh. um, so what my thinking was yeah. is that I wanted to make it like a window box kind uh -huh. of yeah. affair. So I've left my circles on because they're going to be hidden, so I'm thinking my window box would be about here. I've got a little bit of... Um, would affect um, cardstock, but I just yeah. use my nested dies again yeah. to just cut out just See, little rectangles. Nested dies are, I class nested dies as an essential. Oh, yeah, really. they're great. Yeah, yeah they're really great. Um, okay. So, again, I'm kind of building from the front backwards, I guess. Doing that a lot today. Mm -hmm. uh. so I'm going to add a load mm -hmm. of the kind of leafy bits. Lovely. Kind of stagger memory, them a little bit. If memory serves me right, I want to say you live by the coast. Or Does my accent right give me away? Yeah. Whereabouts? <laughs> Whereabouts? Yeah. I'm actually from Cornwall, but I live in um, Gloucester. That's it. Yeah. I knew you, you started out in Cornwall. Beautiful. Yeah. Hmm? No, I say, I remember it, it was Cornwall. I know you moved from Cornwall. You remember them talking yeah. about pasties. Yeah, that's you? right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, just wonder if. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if wet glue is a good thing to use for the t drying time, but we'll try. Okay, we'll give it a go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I want to stagger these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, you've gone quiet. Oh, sorry. You know, I was, I you was make, actually you make me nervous when no, you're quiet. I'm I'm not used I, to it. I was actually really enjoying <laughs> watching you work. I found myself, I, I just fell into viewer mode. But this is what we love no, about that's cool. Chamber. That's cool. I like it. You know, it's nice. And just this week, I've had a lot of emails. It's, it's really nice to hear from viewers who are saying how much they appreciate. And thank you uh, for this. Just saying how much they appreciate the time that we're able to devote to the demonstrations, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. And by the way, I, I really want to stress this. I, uh, we're not knocking anyone else here, but it is just a, um, this is the concept of Hochanda, and I know sometimes us presenters we can waffle on, but genuinely we try and focus as much attention on the demonstrations because we know as crafters this is what we want to see. You don't want to hear a presenter waffling on. He says while well, waffling on. <laughs> okay, it's nice. So we're kind of building up in reverse. I know when we spin it around. Yeah, well, I don't know what we're going to get when we spin it around. It's going to be I, a I tell you bit what, we're going to get something that's fabulous, Kleiner. I have full faith in you. That's good. That's good. Someone asked you. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'll stick some. That's a well-stocked craft bag. 
What, what can we help you with? Ah, what are you looking for? Just looking for some some sort of 3D. Yeah. Yeah, scissors there? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, you're Andy, you are. Hey. hey. Everyone needs the Annis in their craft room. <laughs> oh. Apparently, uh, apart from Emily and Molly, director and producer, said no. Ben? No, uh, it doesn't cost you anything, Ben. I'll just come around to your craft room. Okay. So there we go. Now, let's hope it looks okay. We can stick it on. Oh, that's nice. And I hope that kind of gives the impression oh. of like a, you know, like a like a window box yeah. or a or a wooden planter. Plainer, that is lovely. That's and lovely. I went for the kind of uh, gingham paper to try yeah. and make it like a bit country kitchen kind of. You are very very good. <laughs> you could be you got to be happy with that. Yeah, it's what kind of what I had in mind. I think you're yeah, brilliant. Great. Okay. Are you happy with it? That's can that. I, can I lift it up and show yeah. you? Yeah. Let's have Help a look yourself. at this. The inspirations. Let's just take a moment and pause and see what Klein has done this hour. I know some of the elements were already pre-done, but it gives you an idea. Now, come on. That's beautiful. Using the flowers and the leaves. Very, very nice. Or, same concept, but now we're using the system with the brads. The whole team have fallen in love with this wreath. That is a beautiful wreath. I don't want, there is, a, look, I'm going to say it, Christmas, and I'm sorry you're screaming at me on TV, but look, eventually, at some point this year, you are going to start making your Christmassy makes. How about creating, just by changing the colorways uh, and putting the, uh, more of the ferns, you create your own or sort of Christmas wreath? There may even be some in the pipeline. Who knows? Oh, cheeky. Oh. Cheeky. How about this? This is another one that Klein has done as well. So, Kleiner, am I right in saying I've divined that you are going to be uh, bringing us possibly more to the range? Well, I'm hoping. I mean, it, okay. it, it depends on if people like it. Well, I like and obviously, it. if they do, then yeah. I do, do plan to expand it. Well, I hope you do, Kleiner, because I think the concept is fantastic. I really mean that. You're very, very good. Okay, what are we going to do next? All right, I'll do the other colour. That one needs a bit of paper piece, and yeah. I don't know if we've got time we've for that. We've got ten minutes, so we've got plenty of time. Whatever you feel like doing, Kleiner. Um. Where do you tend to do most of your crafting? Oh, at home, in my, in my office. Mm -hmm. I pop um, something like... Netflix on. Yeah. Or, other, other streaming ver uh, services are available. And, um, well, yeah. that's if I haven't got a, got a Chanda on there. Yeah, of course. Do you, tend uh, to, do you tend to watch Ho Chanda have Chanda in the background? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, we yeah. Do, we do hear that that's, a lot. That's how I started. That's how I started crafting. Um, you know, through watching other people and, and yeah. getting inspired. Yeah. You know, that's how. That's yeah. all. Did you ever think when you start crafting you'd be on uh, national TV? Never. Sharing your inspiration? Never, 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 never. Mm -hmm. No. I'm seeing here, Kleiner has got such a well stocked travel craft bag. <laughs> You've got everything you need. It's like Batman's utility belt. Yeah, it's a little bit like that. Um. Can I help you find anything? Mm. Um. Well, while you're having a rummage, I'm just going to show you, if we just take a look here at some examples that Klein has uh, been made, making. So using the Lincolns, the One Day Special coming through, that is beautiful. Ah, oh, love ya. I, I thought for a minute that that said love you, uh, love you, Anis. It didn't. Then uh, love you to the moon and back. So that's, look, that's the potential of the Lincolns. You're not just writing uh, sentiments, you could write whole verses. Let the party be gin. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let the party be gin. Uh, keep smiling. Then you've got your friend. And then your daughter. Now this is coming into the one day special, showing you the Lincoln. I remember the first time, this is very clever, Plainer. The first time you brought the Lincolns, we, we did this, <laughs> yeah. don't we? It's fun. 
seriously, we've all got a friend who would find that very amusing. There you go. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to pop that down. Are we all set, Kalina? What do I do with my scissors? Oh, scissors are... I don't know now. They disappeared. Oh, they are. They're hiding them. So what have we got planned? Oh, actually, I will need to spray that. Sorry. Okay, that's okay. Go for it. Nice. Right, what I want to do is I just want to give this a little bit of a background. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Nice. Just uh, somewhere to... Can we follow you on social media? See uh, examples and inspirations that you make? Yes, I've got... Um, I've got a page, but I've also got a, a group. Okay. Um, Claims yeah. Crafty oh, Crew. Oh, we did. Sorry, of course we did. We mentioned that earlier on. Sorry. That's yeah. okay. And it's well worth. Uh, can it, anyone ask to join Claims Crafty Crew? Of course. Yeah. Nice. I'm just knocking some of it off because I want it to be yeah. quite pale because I'm doing like a peach, yeah. but this ink is quite bright. Yeah. Okay. So I'm knocking most of it off. It's nice blending brushes. But I just want to um, <laughs> make up brushes. Yeah. So hopefully, oh, that's nice. There, it's just a hint. That's yeah, all I that's want. Yeah, that's nice. Now with these this time, mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to be snipping the little rings off. Okay. So you can snip them off if you don't want them. Yeah, and then there's just a flower dies. Yeah. Oh, do you know what I would use? What about then turning them into uh, maybe reinforcers for your tags? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could do that. I've probably got too many of those anyway, so I won't do them all. Lovely. And then I've got a couple of eucalyptus. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll just pop a couple down. Okay. So yeah. this is where the others are quite traditional in a, in a sense. Yeah. I'm just trying to keep this one a little bit kind of modern, I guess. Okay. So, lovely. Just building it up. Mm -hmm. So, have you had fun preparing for the one day special? Yeah, I have. The problem I've had is mm -hmm. trying to get all of the ideas that I've got. Yeah. ready because yeah. I've, j I've just got so many there's so many things you can do with flowers yeah. but then when you add kind of the whole brad thing into the mix as well gives you a whole lot of other things so unfortunately i haven't done as much as i wanted to right. but some of the things that i didn't get around to doing are covered in the pdf okay um so if anyone wants to have a look at that nice and so you can find the pdf on uh, your facebook page yep Cleaners Crafty Crew mm -hmm. in my group. Lovely. But you've given us so many uh, beautiful elements to build up. You build up interest, to build up depth, and you can put on as much as you like. That reminds me, what you, you're putting on here, it was a, there was a grass in my parents' garden. It was a lot, when I say grass, it wasn't like normal. Like it was, a, a, it was classed yeah, as a grass. Yeah, you, you get a lot of those kind of decorative grasses yeah. now, don't you? That, that, yeah, they're really getting quite popular. Mm -hmm. Lovely. I don't know if it needs another one or not. Oh. Oh, do you know what? I like that. I think that's nice. It's elegant. Sometimes less is more. Yeah, I want it to be quite simple. Yeah. And then I think there's a back in here on my on my sentiment. I've got some gems, but yeah. I'll pop them on later. Okay. Nobody needs to sit and see me do that. <laughs> <laughs> And then I've got and then on the back of my card. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got to get handmade with love. Wow, as they're here. Yeah. You just as well. Plainer, I would put those on everything. And there, it's very different to what I did with the other ones, I think. Mm -hmm. Nice. But I just want you to see you're not limited to a particular style. Yeah. 
I love how you brought your whole craft room with you there. You literally got uh, everything you I've need. I've got in so there. many ideas, and I'm always worried <laughs> that I haven't got the things I'll need. Do you mind if I, do you mind if I show <laughs> no, them? All? Look at this. Help yourself. Look at that. I'll pop a couple of gems on it later as well. But in that, and it shows you how quickly you can build something that has got that wonderful handmade feel to it. Now you give that to somebody. It could be for an Easter card. Uh, it just could be a thinking of you. Mother's Day. Now, the it's Mother's the Day, it is around the corner. How great. Imagine giving something like this as a Mother's Day card. Again, using the one day special, the Lincolns. I'm just going to remind everyone what you're getting. That would be incredible. So just change the mother to, uh, the daughter to mother. Done? Yeah. I'm just going to show you what you're getting with the one day special because we have got it here. I just think the innovation is fantastic. And look at the amount that you are getting as well. $39.97, you're getting three sets. This is the first of the sets. So the flowers are genius because you've got the hole in the center. That's where you put the bread. You've got your stamens there to build up the flower coming through. You've got the leaves that give you a perforated uh, detail. You've got your closed blooms, your open blooms. That's one set. We continue. We've also got our ferns coming through as well, just showing you there. So you've got these beautiful ferns, you've got the honeysuckle in there as well. All work of the same principle of linking up. And then finally, uh, we were just using uh, these as well, another beautiful array of flowers and stems. So all three sets, $39.97. But here's the thing, there's flexi payments. So today, $19.99, we send it all out to you, uh, and then in four weeks' time, you pay the remaining 19.99. You are saving 12 pounds, but you're getting something that is wonderfully original, and that's what I like, something that I've never seen before, and I just, I haven't seen these before, Clayton. I think you've done such a good job. You should be really proud of yourself. And I'm doing a new wreath every hour, so okay. if everyone, anyone wants to tune into the other shows. Okay. And I will say that Clayton is gonna be live tomorrow from nine, one, and five, and it'd be fantastic if you could join us and keep Clayton company. Thank you so much. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. Good. Thanks ever so much. Hey, pleasure. <laughs> uh, so Kleina will be live tomorrow. Please tune in. I know she's got so much more that she would love to share with you. Also, look on Facebook. Remember, you can download the free uh, PDF on there. And also do join Kleina's crafty crew as well on Facebook. Thank you so much, Kleina. That's such Thank a good you. job. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. You can catch up on the hour uh, on our website or also on the Hochanda app. Bye. Thank you for your company.